So on our home page, I am recommending um, to use um, a couple of free tools, but this one has been discontinued actually. I can no longer find it on the web. I have a snapshot of a certain version of it. Uh, Violet is another UML editor which is free and we can try it today. But um, uh, if you Google Uh, if you Google um, uh, free uh, UML tools or tool, uh, I know that there is a Wikipedia. Uh, uh, wiki, how about this wiki thing? Um, uh, there is a list of unified modeling language tools. If you if you navigate there, like. You see, I typed. Uh, I could have jumped to Wikipedia and and typed in UML tools, uh, but they give you some pretty decent list of what's available. And those uh, squares where it says yes, uh, when it's open source, you know you can get it and you can start using it, right? So uh, I wonder, is Violet on this list? It seems to be an alphabetical list. Yeah, Violet UML editor. So you see, this is, this is quite popular in educational environments, especially for beginners. Uh, so I will stick with this particular one uh, for now with Violet and we'll use it to, to create some diagrams, myself included. So. Here we go. We have a li uh, we have a link on our home page right here, right? We have a link to Violet UML editor. I already clicked it, so it opens this, and we can just say uh, the latest version, right? So we can just say download. Is this? Uh, uh, yeah, more m the latest version. Download from SourceForge. It goes to the open source uh, uh, depository, and you just download it. And what it's going to download for us is going to be a jar file. So let me first get this uh, file and uh, save it. Um, my browser tells me this type of file can harm your computer. Interesting. It says, do you want to keep uh, it anyway? Well, yes, I will keep it because I pretty much know where it's coming from and I could verify its uh, you know, hash value and so forth. Uh, but uh, uh, this is because a jar file, uh, I will say keep, uh, the jar file is Java archive that contains Java executable code. And just as any programming language, uh, can do things not necessarily what you want uh, you know you're you're downloading uh, a file which uh, is actually executable you know contains executable compiled Java code so uh, that's why you get the warning what I will do I will say show in folder which goes into my download directory instead I'm going to right click and say copy and jump to my portable drive uh, which is here and CIS 123 or actually software is probably an, an okay place and I and I'm going to save it right here now if you install Java uh, uh, the latest versions of Java installer I believe configure um, uh, configure uh, the extension dot jar to be automatically opened by uh, uh, by Java um, interpreter uh, which first uh, uh, opens the archive, essentially, essentially extracts the archive. This is actually great news uh, because this is a perfect way to distribute your Java desktop applications. More so, if, if you look at your... Um, again, I forgot to time myself, but hopefully we're still okay. In my project, when I say file, uh, no, sorry, uh, when I when I go to my project view, uh, the 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 outline or tree view, and as before, I said build, right? If I do build it, um, projects are compiled automatically when you save them. 
uh, I'm just going to say clean and build because it says, oh, you really want to build it. So yes, uh, the answer is yes. So I want to build it. Um, And I don't know, it's just waiting on me here a little. I don't know. Let me try this again. Package. Um, demo. Uh, clean and build. How about that? Hmm. Uh, I'm not seeing the. Uh, let me go to window and output. I just want to see the output. Okay, so. The output is there, it just closed the window. Uh, you can see that at the bottom here, it says building jar file. Let me increase the size of this a little bit. Right? At the bottom of this build, if everything's okay, it tells me I'm building a jar file for you. So NetBeans creates the jar file for, for us automatically. So I can just simply, you know, if everything's okay, I can right click here, copy, go to the command line, right? Go to the command line and I can uh, paste and hit enter and, uh, oh, to open the file windows needs uh, to know what program wants to use. Oh, actually, interesting. All right. So, um, So here it didn't want to run. So yeah, on the command line, I need to specify uh, the Java jar command. OK, let me cancel that. And so I will use this full command here to control C at the command line and just paste. So it needs to look like this Java uh, jar and specify the jar archive. And it'll understand the Java. Uh, oh, and now I, you know, Java is not in my path. So I need to find my Java. Right, so I can quickly uh, jump there. Uh, let me just find my Java, make sure I can do this. So, C program files, uh, Java, Java, uh, Java JDK, because that's part of the, you know, it's actually part of, part of GRE, perhaps. Here, let me try it here. Bin um, Java is right here, so I can use this path. Uh, copy, go to my command window, uh, paste that, and then also paste uh, Java, and then space, and take my line from here. All right? Control C. Uh, add that. So this becomes a command. So hopefully, uh, uh, C program. Yeah, of course, because spaces are evil. I need to use double quotes to make sure that uh, it understands this whole path as a path to the command. Uh, could not open. F uh, uh, could not. Um, could not open C programs. Uh, JVM config. Well, you know what? Uh, let me go to. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me go to instead of this. Let me go to JDK one. All right. So I'll uh, take some time, but. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace this with this uh, bin Java. Okay, now it works. So this really is the command you want to use right here. Uh, so the point is NetBeans creates the jar file for us. You can give it to your friend, you can sell it to someone, or you can run it directly from the command line. Okay, so let me 